for other people named Paul Cohen, see Paul Cohen, not to be confused with Paul Cohn. Paul Joseph Cohen was an American mathematician. He is best known for his proofs that the continuum hypothesis and the axiom of choice are independent from zermelo frankel set theory, for which he was awarded a Fields Medal. Early years Cohen was born in Long Branch, New Jersey, into a Jewish family that had immigrated to the United States from what is now Poland. He grew up in Brooklyn. He graduated in 1950, at age 16, from Stuyvesant High School in New York City. Cohen next studied at the Brooklyn College from 1950 to 1953, but he left before earning his bachelor's degree when he learned that he could start his graduate studies at the University of Chicago with just two years of college. At Chicago, Cohen completed his master's degree in mathematics in 1954 and his Doctor of Philosophy degree in 1958, under supervision of the professor of mathematics, Anthony Zygmunt. The title of his doctoral thesis was Topics in the Theory of Uniqueness of Trigonometrical Series, Contributions to Mathematics. Cohen is noted for developing a mathematical technique called forcing, which he used to prove that neither the continuum hypothesis, nor the axiom of choice, can be proved from the standard zermelo frankel axioms of set theory. In conjunction with the earlier work of Gödel, this showed that both of these statements are logically independent of the ZF axioms. These statements can be neither proved nor disproved from these axioms. In this sense, the continuum hypothesis is undecidable, and it is the most widely known example of a natural statement that is independent from the standard ZF axioms of set theory. For his results on the continuum hypothesis, Cohen won the Fields Medal in Mathematics in 1966, and also the National Medal of Science in 1967. The Fields Medal that Cohen won continues to be the only Fields Medal to be awarded for a work in mathematical logic as of 2014. Apart from his work in set theory, Cohen also made many valuable contributions to analysis. He was awarded the Bocca Memorial Prize in Mathematical Analysis in 1964 for his paper on a conjecture by Littlewood and Idem Potent Measures and lends his name to the Cohen-Hewitt factorization theorem. Cohen was a full professor of mathematics at Stanford University, where he supervised Peter Sarnak's graduate research, among those of other students. Angus McIntyre of the University of London stated about Cohen, he was dauntingly clever, and one would have had to be naive or exceptionally altruistic to put one's hardest problem to the Paul the first knew in the 60s. He went on to compare Cohen to Kurt Gödel, saying, Nothing more dramatic than their work has happened in the history of the subject. Gödel himself wrote a letter to Cohen in 1963, a draft of which stated, Let me repeat that it is really a delight to read your proof of the IND, appendance of the continuum, hypothesis. I think that in all essential respects you have given the best possible proof and this does not happen frequently. Reading your proof had a similarly pleasant effect on me as seeing a really good play on the continuum hypothesis. While studying the continuum hypothesis, Cohen is quoted as saying in 1985 that he had had the feeling that people thought the problem was hopeless, since there was no new way of constructing models of set theory. Indeed, they thought you had to be slightly crazy even to think about the problem, a point of view which the author, Cohen, feels may eventually come to be accepted is that CH is obviously false. The main reason one accepts the axiom of infinity is probably that we feel it absurd to think that the process of adding only one set at a time can exhaust the entire universe. Similarly with the higher axioms of infinity, now is the cardinality of the set of countable ordinals, and this is merely a special and the simplest way of generating a higher cardinal. The set, the continuum, is, in contrast, generated by a totally new and more powerful principle, namely the power set axiom.
It is unreasonable to expect that any description of a larger cardinal which attempts to build up to that cardinal from ideas deriving from the replacement axiom can ever reach thus is greater than, where, etc. This point of view regards as an incredibly rich set given to us by one bold new axiom, which can never be approached by any piecemeal process of construction. Perhaps later generations will see the problem more clearly and express themselves more eloquently. An enduring and powerful product of Cohen's work on the continuum hypothesis and one that has been used by countless mathematicians, is known as forcing, and it is used to construct mathematical models to test a given hypothesis for truth or falsehood. Shortly before his death, Cohen gave a lecture describing his solution to the problem of the continuum hypothesis at the Gödel Centennial Conference in Vienna in 2006. A video of this lecture is now available online. Selected Publications Cohen, Paul J. The Independence of the Continuum Hypothesis Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America 50 1143-1148 Bibcode 1963PNAS 50.1143C DOI 10.1073 PNAS 50.6.1143 PMC 221,287, PMID 16,578,557, Cohen, Paul J. The Independence of the Continuum Hypothesis, 2. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, 51, 105-110. Bibcode 1964PNAS 51105C DOI 10.1073PNAS 51.1.105 PMC 300611 PMID 16591132